Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and today we're acting to top 10 summary discoveries you weren't supposed to see. Yes, you know how it is, another discovery video, I can't help it, I just love these kind of videos, I absolutely love them. Let's just roll with it. Here are the top 10 dark discoveries made by submarines. We're going deep down to see some scary sh** in this one. This one- Oh yeah, deep stuff. Underwater. This one's gonna be a struggle, let's dive in. Number 10, a mammoth tusk. Scientists are currently trying to mammoth. bring the woolly mammoth back to life, so it's fitting that we throw this recent discovery Why on mammoth? the list here. Back in 2019, scientists from Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, they were poking around the ocean floor. They were poking around 10,000 feet, not too far off the coast of California, and they found what they thought was an elephant tusk. Now that by itself would be a pretty oh, big discovery. Animal remains in the deep sea, let's go, that's great. No, this one was even better. We found a mammoth tusk. At first, the team only grabbed a small sample, but last year in July, they were able to return and get the entire thing. Voila. It belonged to a Colombian mammoth. Those were mammoths that didn't have a lot of hair. They didn't need it. They lived in North America, so things got a little warm sometimes. That's pretty cool. That uh, is actually pretty cool. Number nine, giant phantom jellyfish. Beautiful, yes. Terrifying and for sure an alien. They terrify sharks, I know that. This beast was discovered back in 2021 in, you guessed it, Monterey Bay. The classic spot, apparently, for sea monsters. The research team sent in a deep sea robot to take a look into the abyss, and they discovered this phantom giant jellyfish again. Bad. Yeah, I said again. Originally, this jellyfish was documented back in 1899, living at depths of 3,000 to 13,000 feet. It's, yeah, more than fair. She's hard to catch. Who is she down there? Never know. But luckily, we got a video of her in action last year. Uh, Check it out. This is why I don't ever go in the oceans, ever. Cheers. That's pretty realistic, though, to be honest. That's a bit too realistic, though. Is that actually... That can't be real, surely not. Can I be... It, it doesn't look real to me. That don't look real. No. It looks just animated. It does look animated. Nah, I'm not calling that one real. I, ca I can't. I ca it don't look real. Like, look at this. Look how perfectly detailed that is. Like, you can't see anything in the background whatsoever. And, like, it looks like it's snowing water. It, it can't be real. Surely not. I'm calling Cap. Deep sea anglerfish. These guys are so scary. We have to talk about them. Living at depths of over 6,000 feet, the deep sea anglerfish lives Nothing in more useful, though. darkness. Like Vin Diesel in pitch black. It was first discovered back in 1833 when it washed ashore in Greenland and was then taken to Johann Christopher Hangman Reinhardt in Denmark. It was first referred to as the football fish or the man gobbler. Great names, okay. Female anglerfish have a glowing lure at the top of their head. That's how we recognize them. It's like the whoop thing, right, in Finding Nemo. It's scary, and it's something I'm glad hides at the bottom of our oceans, but it's needed for their survival. The light is created due to bioluminescent bacteria. Thousands of fish have it, and in the deep sea, anglerfish uses it to hunt. It draws fish in right in front of its massive, scary mouth, and then just, help. They see the disco light, and then moments later, they see another light, the light of the fish lords. The spiny dorsal fin hangs over their head. It's called an esca, it's an organ, and it emits photophore light. It's made method of hunting, which is pretty badass. It kind of has to be because it has no arms or anything. It's just a big scary face moving around the ocean. Number seven. Those are fish reefs, though. Or dying coral reefs. This one's actually kind of sad. After all, the list is dark discoveries. These are all scary or dark, literal darkness for some of them. Back in 2009, after a four week expedition to explore you the deep discovery, ocean, then you made discovery, then you made footage on it. Tasmania, scientists found deep water coral reefs, which is exciting at first until they realized that these coral reefs are dying. They're on their way out. So now there needs to be more research done into why exactly these reefs are dying. We would like to know that. That's kind of something we're working on currently. If the reason they're dying happens to extend so into the shallow reefs as well, it could zone. cause massive problems for both marine life and us, our human life. Scientists need to figure out whether the coral was dying because of the ocean warming up, maybe it was disease, or perhaps it was an increase in ocean acidity. Whatever the case is, if it extends into shallower water, it's bad news for us. 25% of marine life would lose their habitat. The coastal fishing industry would be affected, of course. So, no more fish and chip specials. Save the ocean, you know? For red lobster's sake, let's smarten up and save the ocean. Number okay. six, Chuck Lagoon. This lagoon was Japan's main base during the war, but come 1944, the United States launched an attack, which some deem as That's Japan's cool. Pearl Harbor, where That's 60 cool. ships were sunk and around 250 planes as well. So for 70 years, there's been a massive graveyard, literally just sitting in the depths of the Pacific. And it wasn't until recently where we got a good look at these haunting artifacts from history. This photographer oh, went down, took some photos, and said it was one of the scariest shoots ever. Okay, that's cool. The that is cool. Filled, of course, with, you know, human skulls, remains, gas masks, bullets. Obviously, it was haunting to look at. Nobody wanted to go down, so that's when we send in 
a submarine. That's when we send in a drone because we don't like to look at skulls and picking up stuff out of the sand. We don't like to do that. Nobody was expecting these artifacts to be that well okay, after fair enough. time too. Like all these things, even a mammoth tusk, these are all in pristine condition almost. It's like the ocean's haunting and unexplored. Number five, holes. If you have trypophobia, you may want to skip this one or face your fears together. I don't like holes either. I'm diving in. Let's do it. Off the coast of Big Sur, Come California, on, show me the footage. Come a real on. place and not just a Mac update. A survey revealed about 15,000 holes on the bottom of the ocean and they're all the same size, which is weird. They all measure oh, wow. to be 11 meters wide and one meter deep. The team at Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute our, our friends, they found about 15,000 of these and then they found 5,000 more that were even bigger. The little guys are micro depressions in the earth and the big ones are pockmarks. Initially, scientists here thought that it was methane underneath the seafloor coming out to say hi and you know, leaving a big crater, big poof. So rovers went down there, tests were done, no methane. In fact, there hasn't even been any methane for 50,000 years. So what's going on here? Number four, MV Derbyshire. This ship was twice the size of the Titanic, but James Cameron didn't make a movie about it, so you may not have heard about it. Let me fill you in. I'm okay. not James Cameron, but I'll do my best. The MV Derbyshire was the biggest British registered merchant ship of all time to sink. That's an odd brag when you think about it. But she was assembled back in 1976 and lost in 1980 on right. Canada to Japan. So I'll show you back then, yeah? The distress call was never issued and the ship was following proper ocean routes with weather routing companies, so they were doing all the right things, yet somehow it sank. September 15th, 1980, a search began for the missing ship and crew, but six days later, the search was called off. Nothing was found, not even a clue, honestly. The so not a discovery was then. Lost. The sister ship of the Derbyshire ended up sinking as That's well. That's not a discovery then. Cracking. So the families urged officials to search again. Come 1994, the Derbyshire was found. I don't count that as a discovery then. I don't count that. You don't. You didn't find it. You just like, ah, oh, for God's sakes, man, this is annoying. You do get those stinky videos. You do get stinkers, you know. Squid. I'll talk about this thing every chance I get. Uh, I fair enough, yeah, who's good? heard about this because I slept a lot better the less I knew, honestly. The big fin squid, the BFS, the big squid, is rarely seen, hence why it's on our list here today. It actually lurks in many oceans, hiding in the deep. The big fin squid lives in the permanent dark zones of the ocean around 1,200 meters or 4,000 feet deep in the sea. So the guy can't see anything. He's blind down there, as are most of these monsters. On November 11th, 2007, an ROV was searching around the deepest, darkest waters in the Gulf of Mexico. And lucky for us, they got one on film. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Okay, that was the best discovery made yet. That one was the best one. It took like... Uh, seven discoveries, but hey ho, we got there. <laughs> Death perception is like, oh, maybe it's small, maybe it's this. Nope, stupidly large. They look like balloons, scary, haunting balloons, just casually floating, watching you. I hate how calm it looks too. It looks like it locked onto you, like it's like kinda following your moves. Number two, siphonophore. Siphonophores, okay, where do I even begin? This well, is hey. a real thing, not an alien? Okay, cool. Upon first glance, this appears to be a single multicellular organism, but they're actually an entire colony of polyps and Wait, what? that are collectively known as a zoo. What are these? Yep, I'm saying real words. I'm not just making them up. A few years ago, scientists found the longest siphonophore ever. They found it and it was 154 feet long. If you thought that last creature was long, this thing is stupid. Just a huge long piece of spaghetti just floating around in the ocean. But really, it's it's actually not spaghetti. It's a bunch of different little creatures all working together. Reading up about this thing, there was a quote that I read and it said, we at least need to know what's down there. No, we don't. And finally, number one. Uh, number one, this guy. City. Well, I'm oh, just with a I recent, say. recent discovery. The lost Egyptian city of Heraklion was found after disappearing under the Mediterranean oh, Sea wow. 1,200 years ago. Now, this city has a bit of history behind it, you know, being founded in the 8th century BC That's and sick. all. And researchers believe Heraklion was the port that you'd arrive in if you were to travel back then. Well, recently, last summer in 2021, more to this ancient sunken city was found in Egypt. And it's changing history, dare I say. This was led by the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology. That's this sick. Sunken military vessel this 25 meter ship cool. was found in this sunken ancient city. In another part of this lost city, remains of a Greek funerary area was also discovered, dating back to around the 4th century BC. So, this discovery connects the historical dots for us. Greek merchants living in the ancient Egyptian city. This tells us that the Greeks settled here during the late Pharaoh dynasties, which is wild. We're literally just connecting all these pieces of this historical puzzle. And also we're finding treasure at the same time, so it's not all scary fish. We just need to send cameras and submarines underwater everywhere. Yep. We need Check that. Under every shell. What a wild list this was. We need that. We need that. We need that. A lot of like cameras underwater. That last one was sick. It was a bad start, but 
That last one was sick. The last two actually were sick, you know. But some of them I just didn't believe, you know, with, with like the actual jellyfish and everything. I did not believe that. That looked like, it looked fake. It looked like it was just animated, you know. Unless the camera nowadays, that's, that's just how they work. But I don't think so. Unless that was like screen recorded from like in like some workshop and it made it look like that. But I don't think so. But Asian City, that's a, that's a good discovery right there, that is, yeah. There's actually a few of these, so I might look, take a look at part two and part three. You will never know. We'll see how it goes. But until then, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.